Now take out the cardboard that comes with the packing and the armrests. The next thing you need to do is take out the charger. Very important. Okay, now you're ready to take the scooter out of the box. Simply lift it up on its side like this. Grab hold of the handle and just slide it out. Now, before you forget, you need to remove this. This is your battery pack. Without this, you're not going anywhere. Okay, now that you've taken the scooter out of the box, you want to unfold it. And to do that is quite simple. There's a lock ring here that you pull and hold the back of the seat like so and just pull it. You want to raise the seat up. You do that by holding the handle and lifting the seat up until it locks. Okay, this seat has three locked positions and I'm gonna show them to you now. Squeeze the red handle, pull the seat all the way up until it locks. You'll see the red indicator showing on both left and right side. Now squeeze the handle again, let it drop into the lower position. Again, you'll see the red indicators. And finally, Drop it down all the way until once again you see the red indicators. Okay, now you want to lift up the handlebar, and that's quite easy. The first thing you do is open up the clamp and then pull this lever on the side. That will allow you to lift up the handlebars like so. Remove this protective material and the cardboard. And then don't forget to close the clamp again. The next thing that we want to do is to lock the frame in place. This is very important. There are two frame locks and they just lock quite easily like so. Now you want to make sure that the handlebars are at the correct height. And these are quite adjustable. There are two clamps located here and you simply open the clamps, extend the handlebars to whatever height is comfortable for you and then relock the clamps. Okay, now we're gonna put the armrests on. Uh, this comes with two screws. They get installed underneath the seat. Get them started now, but don't tighten them completely. There's one for each armrest. Now take one of your armrests out of the bubble wrap. This is the right one, of course. There's a square hole in the side of the chair that this slides into. Once you have it in position, just tighten the nut. This, of course, is the left one. Hey, we only have one more thing to do, and that is to give you power. Please note the shape of the battery compartment. These are the contact points for the battery. When you install this, you have to put the flat end facing forward. This is the battery tray. You simply place the battery in the forward part of the tray and push down until it locks. There are two ways that you can fold this and bring it with you, and I'll show them to you now. First, put the seat back down, and you want to lower the handlebars. Reclamp them. Open up the bottom clamp, and lower the handlebars into place, 
relock the clamp. Now lower the seat into its stowed position. Make sure that it's locked. That's it. You're ready to go. The other way to do this is almost the same, a little bit different. First, lower the handlebars. Open the clamp. Drop the handlebars down into place and reclamp it. But this part is different. You have to open up the frame locks, like so. Then drop the seat down to its stowed position. Make sure it's locked. Put down the seat back and then lift it up so that the frame is locked. Okay, now you need to re-extend the handlebar up to its top position. You already know how to do that. Okay, and once again, that's all there is to it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.